Good afternoon and welcome to WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97's coverage of Red Bay and Tharp Town Softball. We're at the Franklin County Tournament and we are in Bell Green, Alabama. Hello everybody, Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay here for our second game to broadcast today. Earlier, Bell Green knocked off the Red Bay Tigers and Bell Green of course moved on to the championship game. Of course these Red Bay Tigers have dropped down in the losers bracket and they're going to have to win this uh, 4 o'clock game against Tharptown to move uh, to another round. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, make sure you share this broadcast with your friends out there. Randall's checking to make sure we're on the air good. So if you're out there, we got some really, really great sponsors, of course, that are making this game possible here tonight on WRMG. We'll know who's going to be the Franklin County champs before we leave here tonight. And if you're out there, make sure that you share this broadcast with your friends and neighbors here on WRMG. Once again, I'm live. Uh, you uh, Tharp Town folks, when you get on, make sure you share this broadcast. Once again, we are in the um, loser's bracket here. I don't know uh, uh, as far as the Tigers are. What about Tharp Town? Did they, who did they play earlier and who did they lose to? They may have, I don't know exactly who all they've played or whatever, but we'll try to find out. And uh, But once again, it's Red Bay and Tharp Town coming up here in just a minute. Let me see if I can talk to a. Hey, th hey, Mr. Tharptown, who did uh, who did uh, I know Tharptown just beat Phil Camel? Did that? Who did they lose to? Bell Lost to Bell Green. That's how y'all got in the losers bracket as well. So both teams in the loser bracket. This uh, winner right here will advance, and the losers uh, day will be over here. And of course, want to welcome into the broadcast. You know, it's a very very special time of the year. It's a Good Friday, and of course, uh, uh, special things to remember of what the good Lord did for me and you, and and when He died on the cross. And of course, uh, you know, people say this all the time. Sunday's coming. Of course, that's the resurrection day, and so hopefully, you've got a uh, a Sunday uh, plan for uh, church activities at your home church. And if you don't have a home church, uh, we recommend that you find one, find you a good Bible believing church, and uh, and get involved there. I know you and the family will enjoy it, and. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you what to do or anything like that. That's just, uh, I think, uh, pretty good sound advice for all of us uh, to be involved in your local church in your hometown. So y'all do me a favor. Uh, say a prayer for the ones out there that's uh, on prayer lists uh, throughout our communities here in Franklin County and surrounding counties. I want to welcome into our broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. It'll be Fisher Tharp Gann. Uh, Go forth. It'll be Partain, Borden, Nichols, uh, Gardner, Franks, Little for Tharptown here today on WRMG. We're fixing to start the old clock here. Uh, we got a well. We got about a 90-minute uh, time limit today. We got a 90-minute time limit. 90 minutes. 90-minute time limit. And uh, I think they have just uh, got ready to start it. Red Bay Tigers are going to be batting first. They didn't put on here what position the girls will be playing uh, for Tharptown. But we'll find out who's pitching here in just a second. And it is going to be uh, Fisher. And that's uh, Alyssa Fisher, number 32. And after joining us on a broadcast, do what now? Randall said the bugs are after me here today. So an honor to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG. I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. And, of course, we're on the hot spot here today. It worked great this morning, and hopefully it'll continue to work great this afternoon. All brought to you by U and Variety. Don't forget a big shout-out to U and Variety. Full-service floors, fresh and silk flowers for any occasion. Of course, decoration season coming up. Most everybody does silk flowers for decoration, but they do live as well uh, if you need that. Uh, all funeral orders are processed uh, immediately, and if they happen to be closed during that, uh, they do have a, a number you can leave a message, 256-436-0460. Leave a message. It's you and Variety, 256-356-2288. Johnny's Four Wheelers and Moors, a military family-owned business. Thank you, Johnny. And Amanda, 256-810-0795. I saw the Bobcat truck there unloading, unloading more Bobcat tractors. There today, the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Raynard Fabianchi, 256-356-9511. And also Alpha Insurance, Mr. John Cook, he is on our broadcast here today. Red Bay Tigers 
We'll have the basketball, McKenna Young. The shortstop looks at the ball low and outside. Right-handed pitcher on the mound. Once again, I'm Jack Ivey live. Randall Lindsay live here on WRMG. Here's the pitch on the way. Kind of showed like she might want to bunt it, and it is ball. Thank you, Brandon. Another construction company. Uh, builds them from the ground up, 256-412-6500. Also, pro concert, Terry Hayes down in Tupelo, and she bunted that uh, high pitch there. That one was way high, and uh, that will be a strike. Two balls and one strike to count. Appreciate Triple H Electronics. Thank you, David Humphreys and Abby and Macy and Layton there. And there's a ball high. Pro finishes, Mr. Ricky McGee down on Highway 25 South in Belmont. Three balls, one strike. We need a base runner. We need to get into this finals here. Let's play those Bell Green Bulldogs. Here's the pitch on the way. Yeah. It is a strike call. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Pretty much everybody playing straight away. The first baseman there, about even with the bag. Same as over at third. Not very deep at short or second. So they're kind of in a little bit. And there's a ball low and inside, and Young has got a walk. She'll sprint down to first base. This will bring up Hannah Butler, number 15 for the Red Bay Tigers. Once again, we're live in Bell Green, the Franklin County Tournament. I'm Jack Ivey, live. Don't forget Thompson Gas Company on a broadcast. Featuring that Rely propane meter, you only pay for what you use. That means no more tank rent, no more fees, no more large propane bills. It's an awesome opportunity if you're in the propane to call Thompson Gas. If you don't uh, use Thompson Gas now, I highly recommend that you check them out. 356-2194. And also Denise and all the staff at the Cardinal Drive-In on a broadcast. Come by and see them before and after the game. 356-2358 is the Cardinal driving, and there's a ball high. Young stealing the throw down there, and she is safe. So the Red Bay Tigers got a base runner in scoring position with nobody out. Looks like a 2-0 count to Hannah Butler. And the pitch on the way. Ball on the outside, 3-0. Tonight's broadcast also or this afternoon's broadcast brought to you by Casey Lott, the attorney, of course, licensed Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Personal injury is what they specialize in, pharmaceutical product liability cases. 662-554-4000. Ball high, ball four. Two base runners for the Red Bay Tigers. And the young lady that's uh, not only a, a good ball player, out in the outfield, she's uh, got a lot of speed on the bases. She can put the ball in play. That's why she's in that number three slot. They expect her to maybe drive in a run or two here. On deck for the Red Bay Tigers is Blackburn. She's the cleanup batter, swinging a foul back. Appreciate Bliss Aesthetics, LLC. Beverly Winchester Green, a licensed esthetician. First Street in Red Bay, specializing in Sugar hair removal, got uh, the facials, individualized skin care, lash lifts, and more. 256-460-9547. Bliss Aesthetics, pitch on the way, swing and a miss. In the hole, no balls, two strikes, nobody out, Randall. But the Tigers threatening here in the top of the first. They're going to have to put some runs on the board to get a win over this Tharptown Ball Club. Do me a favor, Tharptown, do me a favor. Red Bay, make sure you share this broadcast. we got to get the word out. Swing and a... Little blooper out there, and the left fielder comes in and makes the catch. Good job. She got a good jump on that one, and Pearson flies out to left field. That'll be the first out of the inning. And Blackburn will be your batter, batting with one out. She's got some power around her. What about Lexi Howard hitting a grand slam last night? I understand you got that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Wish you'd saw it. I thought you videoed it. Ball outside. Congratulations, Lex. Also, H.W. Watson Logging Company on our broadcast today. 256-460-2815 is one of the numbers. They buy your timber and timberland. Thank you. H.W. Watson. Ball high. 
Once again, the Red Bay Tigers, first and second. Pretty good bit of speed at both slots. All brought to you by Swamp Johns. Well, those two chicken on sticks I had today, Randall, was awesome. You ain't had one in a while, have you? I ain't had one in a while, so I ate two. And the pitch on the way. Yeah. Strike on the corner. You didn't get one today? So the Red Bay Tigers yeah, picked a runner off. I don't know. So the Red Bay Tigers, critical base running error right here by the Tigers here to give up their second out of the inning with a runner down at second. So the old double steal didn't work there. The runner was thrown out. Now two outs from Emma. Instead of one out and runners at first and second, we got two outs a runner at second. Ball low got away. She'll end up over at third. That's Butler. And that ball is ball four. She's going to head on down to second. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to tag her out. Another base running error by the Red Bay Tigers. So the Tigers run themselves out of a possibility of a good inning. And it is now going to the bottom of the first. And there is no score in the game. Of course, uh, umps out there talking to the uh, coaches for Red Bay out there. Honored to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Randall, keep an eye on this. I'm not sure what's going on right here. But the officials talking it over. And this inning may not be over. It may. Pretty windy here, so if you hear the noise in the background. And we'll find out exactly. I think the inning's over. And uh, so the Tigers will hit the field here. Appreciate 5-H Farms, Donovan Haley, Sophie Hudson, and Harper. Also, Ellis Wooten at Brick Driven Realty is on a broadcast here today. Of course, your North Alabama real estate specialist. And a big shout out today to Ellis Wooten. If you're buying or selling, you need to contact him. I promise you it'll be uh, worth your while. Call him at 256 460 0598. Is that the world famous Lila Blackburn taking some warm up tosses from Butler? I wish she could uh, pitch a little for the Tigers. She pitched uh, a couple of years down at Colin, down south of Jackson, Mississippi. Kapaya Lincoln did an outstanding job. They have a heck of a program down there. They yeah, they won a championship down there. And Red Bay's on. Lila Blackburn, a part of that team. Appreciate Gary and Cody Armstrong, 256-810-4596. For all your Dozier backhoe work, Gary Armstrong, Cody, thank you all so much. Big shout out. To all these wonderful sponsors like Dr. Brad Gentleman, your family medical doctor at Shoals Primary Care, 256-383-4473, located 340 Cox Boulevard in Sheffield. Accepting new patients, most insurance is accepted, Medicare, Medicaid, family medical care, walk-ins are welcome. On-site, x-rays, you name it, they do it at Shoals Primary Care. Big shout-out to Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent, on our broadcast here today as well. In the uh, little black section in there, you see one. That is the first inning. The down arrow means it's the bottom of the first. And you're looking at Tharptown getting ready to bat here against the Red Bay Tigers. This is Alyssa Fisher. Takes the first pitch from Hannah Butler, and it is a strike. Appreciate Ronald Thorne once again for a home, auto, personal, whatever insurance you might need. 356-4459. Foul back to the screen. Appreciate the Neighbors Clinic, Dr. Jim and Dr. Stephen Neighbors, nurse practitioner Devin Fancher. Red Bay Pharmacy Building, Donald Weatherford, 356-4044. Families in health care, helping families who need health care. That is, of course, Red Bay Pharmacy. And a big shout-out to Allen and Ash Harden. There's a pop-up in the infield. Shortstop calls for it, but drops it. 
Wow. So the Tigers, uh, a little sluggish here in this uh, first inning uh, when they was batting and running the bases there. And now uh, easy pop-up and shortstop lets it pop out of her glove. And they got a base runner at first base. And this will bring up Ashton Tharp. Ashton Tharp, the batter. This is number 24 batting here. Don't forget Allen and Ash Harden at Harden Heating and Cooling. Been in business now for over 48 years. Your factory York dealer, 356-8913. And also Red Bay Reynolds, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. There's a bunt. It is going to be foul. Runner will have to come back down at first base. We're live at the Franklin County Tournament. Franklin County Tournament. And we're in Bell Green, Alabama. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay, Scott Webster was here this morning. They called the Ivy man in since we got beat this morning to see if I could get the Tigers a win. I don't think we announcers and camera guys has no bearing on how the game turns out. But uh, good luck to both these teams here today. And there's a foul ball back to the screen trying to bunt it again. So Tharp batting here in the hole. No balls, two strikes, and Ali Gann is up. Go forth will be after that. Jaden Partain will be after that. Do me a favor, if you're watching the broadcast, let me know if you share it. It's real easy. There's the swing and a miss. Runner stealing the throw down there, and it's off. Goes into the outfield, and let's see. There'll be a play at third, and she is safe at third. The ump never did make a call. And safe over there. Let's ring up number 12. So, so the strikeout, then a stolen base. Ball got away. Runner ends up down at third base. Allie Gann, the right-hander, shows a bunt right here. And it is foul. Runner down at third. One out. Gann, the batter here. She's a right-handed batter. Where's number 12? Shows a bunt again, gets away from the catcher, and runner will score easily from third base. That is number five, the courtesy runner, uh, coming in to score there for Tharp Town. That will make it Randall a one-to-nothing ball game. Tharp Town on top here in the bottom of the first inning. So now nobody on. Looks like one ball, one strike. And the pitch, low for a ball. I'm not sure if that scoreboard tried either. Two balls, one strike. It was correct. Thank you, Red Bay Reynolds. He's got some more units to rent right now. We're talking about Johnny Weatherford, 256-668-0039. Johnny will take care of you. And he's also the only one in the storage business that advertises with us here at WRMG on the ball games. We'd love to have them all, but right now, Johnny Weatherford is the man. Thank you, Johnny. Two balls, two strikes. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here in Belgrade. And the pitch on the way. It's a strike call. Strike three. So. Number 12, Gann is down on strikes. This is what a kill you, Randall. There's 
Tharptown is on top one to nothing and hadn't got a hit. They reach base on an error. Stole a base. Uh, another error as the ball went in the outfield. She goes to third, then another error on the wild pitch, pass ball, whatever you want to call it there. We're not trying to lay blame on anything there, but uh, that was another boo-boo by the Tigers. That is Lexi Little batting here. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. Live coverage here from WRMG. Randall, have you got that uh, batter and stuff in there? You might turn it around to the left just a little bit more. Show us a little bit more. Tilt it down a little bit. Down, yeah. And they pop up. And the Tigers drop another one out there. So the Tigers, uh, two errors in the inning, and uh, Little must have been, they got her batting, but probably, I don't know where she got in the field. They had her way down the line. Yeah, DP or something. What number is this one? This is the world famous Jaden Partey, number 10. We talked to Jaden a little bit before the ball game. We found out for sure. Randall, you called her Parton, didn't you? You know what? I had, uh, they weren't actually relatives, but they were kin to somebody that was my relatives, and they were the Partons, and P A R T A N, and uh, some of them pronounce it Partain, and that's exactly what Jaden. And the pitch on the way, ball low. A little down at first base. <laughs> Hannah Butler on the mound, the right hander. She's behind one to nothing. And hadn't given up a hit. And the pitch on the way. There's a ball low and inside, ball four. Harley Borden is a batter, number 14. I'm hearing him saying time for another home run, so apparently she's got her a homer today. We're live on WRMG TV 12. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitch today. And also WRMGradio.com. Blackburn behind the plate for the Red Bay Tigers. Hannah Butler on the mound pitching. Tigers have got uh, Journey Swan down at third base. Uh, Blackburn, I believe, down at short. McKenna Young. Hang on. Right. Edgeman's at third. I can't see right now. So Gracie Edgman's over at third. Who is that at shortstop? McKenna. That's McKenna Young, and Blackburn's over at second base, I guess. And another one of them young girls over at first base. Michaela. Michaela. Who's in the outfield? Jackson, Jackson in left. Uh, of course, Pearson in center. Howard over in right field. And the pitch on the way. Strike call. This is number 14 batting Harley Borden. Today's game brought to you by Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff. By Sunshine Homes, built us a quality home since 1971. The City of Red Bay Mayor Council, your hometown, Piggly Wiggly and Ace Hardware. Don't forget uh, that chicken and dressing on Fridays. Randall, it is some kind of good pepper steak and rice on our broadcast. 
And the Tigers get out of the inning. So the Red Bay Tigers uh, do give up a run. Stranding a couple of runners is the ball club from the big city of Tharp Town. For some reason, my pen don't want to write on this one right here, Randall. All right, so I don't know. I won't give it back. Uh, you got the same kind I got. So I'm sure it ain't no difference. But uh, we're sporting the uh, Community Spirit Bank, our hit sponsor today. For Dreams Moot Solutions, remember FDIC. Big shout out to all these wonderful sponsors, of course, making the game possible. We're talking about Barry Moore, your uh, probate judge. Wants to say thanks again for reelecting him to continue to serve. Also, a uh, big shout out today to Redmont Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks, 279 6569, residential and commercial installation, service, repairs, free estimates on new installs. And you can call, once again, call him right now, 279 6569. That's his cell phone. Also, Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff, 356 9000. What a wonderful staff J.C.'s assembled over the years and a lot of them's been with him for a long time i wonder how much that parking lot is going to help it's going to be nice big shout out to state senator larry stutz is on our broadcast here today one nothing is your score we're going to go to the second inning i guess i better change that randall scott will be checking to see if i've got it one nothing Tharp Town. Today's game brought to you by Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale. Told you about State Senator Larry Stutz working hard for you and me every day. Big shout out to Community Spirit Bank since 1908. Fastway Car Wash is also on our broadcast. Home owned and home operated by Miss Ann Vincent out on Highway 19. Right next to Johnny's Four Wheelers. And Miss Ann's got her going on. We really appreciate the great job she does in our community. Who's batting, Randall? The world-famous Lila Blackman. Huh? I thought you said, I thought Lila had dressed out. Yeah, this is Kyla Blackman, isn't it? She's a right-hander playing uh, second base today. Is that right? And the pitch swing and a miss. Tigers down one nothing. top of the second inning. Today's game brought to you by the Red Bay Hospital. Thank you, Miss Sherry Jolly. Chris Austin, been getting a lot of publicity out there in the well care, having the folks exercise and giving them the correct, correct exercises. Your dad goes down there, don't he? Is he a part of the dance team down there? No. Billy Boyd is. Coach Donnie Roberts, Miss Janet, I saw a bunch of them down there. Appreciate the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, serving the area since 1945. And also your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, making this game possible, serving Tishomingo, Etiwamba, and, of course, Franklin County now for a little over 21 years. 3-3-2-7-9-2-4. And the pitch swing and a foul back. Now that i got a feeling that we may be blistered before this one's over. Three balls and two strikes. Three balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch on the way. Yeah. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Could just be the world famous Journey Swan. And there's a ground ball base hit by Journey Swan. Good job, Journey. Lexi Howard will be up now. Lexi got that big grand slam. And I didn't get to see it live, but I got to see it on uh, video from WRMG. Red Bay trailing one to nothing. You see on the screen, top of the second inning and the pitch on the way. Yeah. Strike call. Alyssa Fisher on the mound. 
Red Bay Tigers live here today in Bell Green at the county tournament. And the pitch, swing and a miss. She may be trying to hit my vehicle out in right field out there, Randall. I'm out there right at the gate, man. How much did you pay to park? Where you parked at? And the pitch on the way. Swing, shot to right side, and that is into right field for a hit. Tigers have runners at first and third. And a great job there by Lexi Howard taking that ball to right field. Good job, Lexi. So the Tigers trying to put a little rally together here. After a beginning of the inning, a strikeout. And this brings up Michaela Jackson, the left fielder for the Red Bay Tigers. Fisher's ready. Runners at first and third. And there is a pop to the right side, and it is dropped. And did she get her at first? They got her down at second. And I think she's safe at first. They have not called her off down there, so she's safe at first. Of course, the reason the runner was out at second, she had to stay over there for so long to see if it's going to be caught. And it was an easy force out down there. And the Red Bay Tigers have tied this game up. So Red Bay's got runners at first and third. Did we score? No, they didn't bring her in. I thought we scored, but we didn't. And there's a shot to the right side, so I better take that run off the board. So it's still a 1-0 ball game. 26 batting here. And Gracie Edgman over at third base for the Tigers. Need Gracie to get a hold of one right here. Here's the pitch. Swing and a shot to the right side foul. We're live in Bell Green, Alabama. Jack Ivey live at the Franklin County Softball Tournament. Scott Randall did the Red Bay Bell Green earlier. Bell Green coming out on top there in the championship game, waiting on one of these teams here to join. Vine and Phil Campbell have already bowed out. Thank you, Mike Jones. Once again, your Edward Jones agent. What about Triple D's bucket service? And now, of course, Triple D's appliances and hardware. Shot to the right side foul. Do you know they own the hardware in Iuka now? Triple D's. What about Tiffin Motorhomes featuring Allegro, Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company? You got your grand opening going on over there if you're over in Iuka. Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Kellum Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Christy Mayo, of course, Brenda Purser right here in Red Bay, 356-4804, all types of insurance. And there's another shot to the right side, foul. We'll say hello to Bay Health and Wellness. Go Tigers from Kayla Humphreys and the staff. Bay Health and Wellness. And we're talking 256-376-2036. Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning and another foul. Back now to play. Chris and Valerie Marr, your authorized freight line and RV dealer. Randall, have they got the internet out at your house yet? Huh? Are they on your road yet? Huh? You know, they're, they're, they're turning some folks on in Red Bay right now. And the pitch on the way. Swing. Foul ball. She was still in the box, so it is a foul. Appreciate Silver Dollar Bargains down at Golden, 75 Red Bay Road. Cliff Cookin in Tupelo, Mississippi. Silver Dollar Bargains. Also, Greg Hamilton, our superintendent. Casey Johnston, our school board member, on the broadcast here today. Swing in another foul ball. Boy, Gracie Edgman fouling everything off. Appreciate Funder Flow commercial and residential pressure washing from Micah Funderburg. 662-262-3569. And also, Red Bay Gas and Water. 256-356-8622. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. Okay. 
One ball, two strikes, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Second out, or the third out of the inning, I should say. And a couple of strikeouts, and then that force out down at second base. So the Tigers did not get that run across the plate. And it is still a one to nothing ball game. Tharptown leading the Red Bay Tigers. All brought to you by the Red Bay Gas and Water Department, 356-8622. Don't forget to call before you dig, dial 811. Also, Bay Tree Gift Company, Beverly Winchester Green, locally owned. Of course, don't forget uh, beautiful gifts for any occasion, bridal and baby registry, tuxedo rentals, a lot of unique jewelry. They also got uh, decorative accents, kitchenware, dining and entertainment, along with a wide variety of home fragrances and much more. Always new arrivals coming in at Bay Tree Gift Company. Thank you. Happy All Outdoors on a broadcast, carrying a large variety of gifts. Don't forget guns and ammo. A lot of those uh, LA7 items out there over in the baseball area there. Of course, Mr. Luke Alexander. LA stands for Luke Alexander, and seven was his number. And you've got all you different types of clothing wear and batting gloves and all that type of stuff. A lot of guns and ammo. And now Sugary's Bakery. Items. BNC Dirt Work, David Corm, the owner, and Chris Blackburn. Let me give you David Corm's number, 256 668 5660, or Chris Blackburn, 256 460 7805. Now, the world famous Chris Blackburn uh, said that they will call you back. Uh, they will also answer your phone calls and they will show up and do the work. That is a big statement because they make it happen. They uh, haul all your gravel, dirt, rock work. And right now, batting. Is Tharptown. Karen Nichols now the batter. Right-hander. Tharptown leads by a score of one nothing, and the pitch on the way. Looks at a strike. So thank you, Happy Hollow, and also BNC Dirt Work. What about Dossett Big Four, located 628 South Gloucester for 44 years. One block from the hospital, specializing in customer satisfaction. They've won national honors and for sales and service. A lot of stock inventory right now of all your favorite automobiles. We highly recommend them. Nice bunt. Pitcher comes in. Throws to first in time for the out. Score that one, 1-3. One, Lakin Gardner, the batter. She wears number two. Hannah Butler on the mound pitching for the Red Bay Tigers. Don't forget April Lowry at Marmac Realty. Boy, is she ta she's taking the real estate uh, by storm. There's a foul ball. She is selling and selling in a hurry. And uh, helping people get qualified. She's got the connections there to help you out with your loans. Once again, that is Marmac Realty's April Lowry. She's, a matter of fact, needing houses to sell, Randall. She's got buyers chomping at the bits, wanting to buy a home right now. So if you're in the market and thinking about you might want to sell, huh? And the pitch. She is hit by the pitch. Hit her on the elbow there. Let's bring up Natalie Franks. We'll give you April Lowry's number one more time, 256-668-9148. You might even see uh, Miss April's husband, Mr. Randy Lowry at Impact Mortgage. Boy, he's getting people in houses left and right with a mortgage company there. Thank you, Happy Jacks, Tyron Lube, third-generation family-owned and operated automotive service business now in Red Bay, Alabama, folks. Donnie Craig is your owner. Understand he's there most Tuesdays to meet the folks in Red Bay. 
Of course, you need to go by and see Glenn, 256-284-0414 for all your tire and automotive needs. 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and on Saturday, 8 to 12. Call us for all your tire and mechanical work. You're going to have to hurry for this one right here, like tomorrow. They've got a special, and there's a shot right side foul. They got the... Um, well, they partner up with Valvoline to extend savings to you, our customer. Now, until April 1st, they offer an oil change using five quarts of synthetic Valvoline oil and filter for only $34.99. And Glenn can get you fixed up. Glenn, we we'll appreciate y'all advertising with us here at WRMG. Big shout out to Randall and Chuck and all the crew at Cash and Thermal Plastics. Randall's one of the head honchos down there, I understand. Are they thinking about changing the name of that? Huh? I mean, ain't going to put your name on it like Lindsay and Cash? Oh, okay. Going to leave it, Cash, so nobody won't be confused. Natalie Frank's the batter, a right-hander. And there's one right back to the pitcher, the throw over to first. Hannah. Not even thinking about going down to second. She wanted to make sure she got that for sure out. Score one four to uh, score that one one three. Alyssa Fisher, the batter, she reached base on an error. And it is the top of the order, as Randall said. Thank you, Franklin Electric. Serving Red Bay Franklin County, three five six four four one three. Tigers had an error down at short. Miss McKenna let that ball pop out of her glove. First pitch is a ball. What about uh, CBNS Bank? Miss Mary Ellen Allen, Sunshine Mills, makers of that great cat food and dog food, 356 9541. Big star, Mr. Hal Keaton. Also, Generations of Red Bay with Meg D. If long term care is not necessary, no problem. If it is necessary, no problem. They're ready to work with you any way they can at Generations of Red Bay, Alabama. Here's the pitch on the way from Hannah. Low. So I believe it's two balls and a strike. Two balls and one strike. Tigers have got a couple outs. Need to get out of this inning. They've got a runner down at second base. Coach Tharptown trying to get her over to third and home. Tharptown leads 1-0, top of the second. And the pitch on the way. And there's a pop and a foul back. Tigers, I don't know where the right thing to say would be, run themselves out of an inning in the first inning. But uh, Tigers had a couple of runners on. Got a runner out at third stealing. Just. Don't forget, if you're watching our game, please share it. We need to get the word out about the game being on today. Big shout out to Community Spirit Bank. They bring in the Red Bay Tiger hits for us today. Thank you, Brad Bolton and all the great staff. Level off on it, listen. Let me give you the number for generations. That number, 256-356-4982. And don't forget, you can send cash fast with Spirit Pay, person to person. And there's a shot to right field. That ball gets by. And the runner will score. And Tharptown will have a runner down at second base. So good job there by, by Fisher. She struck out her last at bat. Tigers moving the left fielder over towards center, moving the right fielder over towards center. So they must expect her to not pull it or not uh, go down the lines. Swinging a foul back. Don't forget you can deposit cash and checks right at the ATM with Community Spirit Bank Spirit Deposit. And if you need a loan or new checking account, it's real easy. 
Randall, right now, before those interest rates decide to go down anymore, might need to check out Community Spirit Bank and get you one of those CDs locked in. Did you get you one locked in? One ball, one strike, two out, runner down at second. One run is in. It's a 2 nothing Tharp Town lead. Winner of this game goes to the finals with Bell Green. They'd have to beat Bell Green twice. The loser of this game's uh, Franklin County tournament is over. Thank you, Johnny's Four Wheelers and Moors. Home of the Argo, the Bad Boys, Big Horns, Bobcats, County Clippers. Adult and kid, four wheelers, mowers, side by sides, pontoons. 256 919 1804. And also the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Raynard Fabianchi, 356 9511. And John Cook at Alpha Insurance. 3 1 count, swing and a foul ball. We're live at the Franklin County Tournament. We're in Bell Green, Alabama. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay here. All brought to you by some really, really great sponsors. And the pitch, swing, and a pop foul back. Catcher's trying to get under it at the... And it is going to be a foul. Appreciate Crow Pro Concert. Terry Hayes does all your church sound systems and more down in Tupelo. Brandon Nully Construction on our broadcast here today. And there is a pop. Shortstop's got it for the out. Closed that glove on that one, didn't let it pop out. And that uh, hit the Tigers out of the inning. Stranded runner there by the ball club from Tharptown. We're going to go to the bottom of the second inning. We have got a Red Bay Tiger two-run deficit. Tharptown is leading on a broadcast. Well, they got the music loud, Andy. I'm Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Today's game brought to you by Triple H Electronics, David Humphries and the crew. And of course, you can uh, say a big shout out to Abby, Macy, and Layton. And the Paul Paul there, sponsor the game today. Pro finishes, uh, Highway 25 South, specializing in RV repair and detail. We do collision repair, paint repair, scratch repair, true toppers, Insurance welcome, and all major credit cards are accepted. Your RV Collision Center on Highway 25 South in Belmont. Thanks to Thompson Gas Company on broadcast. Don't forget to call and ask for the live propane meter. Today, no more tank rent, no more fees, no more large propane bills, no more calling to fill up your tank. Just pay only for what you use to burn. Monthly budget friendly while keeping your tank full. Free meter installation, you can call 356-2194, 356-2194. Also, the Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road, open Monday through Sunday, 10 to 9, on Saturday, 10 to 10. And uh, they've been closed on Sundays, and uh, they may change that later. They had trouble, like everybody else, getting help. So right now they're closed on Sunday at the Cardinal, but uh, there's plenty of hours for you to enjoy the great food. That is always coming your way from the Cardinal, 356-2358. Come by and see us before and after the game. Thank you once again. We're talking about the world-famous Denise at the Cardinal Drive. We're back to the top of the batting order, Randall. McKenna Young looks at one in the dirt. Thank you, Bliss Aesthetics. You'll be leaving like the most rejuvenated self. Bookings, call Beverly Winchester Green, 256 460 
1-800-242-5547. And once again, that's Bliss Aesthetics. And also a big shout out to H.W. Watson and Kevin and Harold buys all your timber, timber land, and also Casey Lott, your attorney, and Swamp Johns. 356-2300. You like them chili cheese dogs at the Cardinal? They are good, aren't you? Go by and get you one of those folks. They're outstanding. Chili cheese, Randall don't like it, but I like putting a little onion on the top of it. Or a lot of onion. Appreciate the Banner Tire Store. Jason Parker, Duck Commander, plus many other brands of tires. And there's a nice bunt. She's fast as lightning, folks, and she is safe at first base. Great hustle down the line by the Red Bay Tigers. You are zooming in a little bit, Randall, aren't you? Huh? Randall's shaking his head, so. I mean, was Miss McDonald taking up for you today when Scott was picking on you? She may be listening right now. Listen. He so the Tigers have got a base runner here. And Hannah Butler, the batter. You know, we had both those on. Now we're going to run ourselves. Wow. Tigers hesitated down there. Keep in mind, there was nobody out, runner down there, and the Tigers are thrown out at second base. So the Tigers have run themselves out, maybe out of another rally here. Had a runner on first with nobody out. And the pitch, swing, ground ball to third, and she is going to beat it out as well, so the Tigers... Would have runners at first and second now with nobody out. And Jasmine Pierce can't look at it that way, I know. But uh, thank you, Gary and Cody Armstrong. Does all you dozer back her work. I always like to say whatever the job is, he's got a piece of equipment to get it done. Excavators, dozers, backhoes. He's got it all. Dump trucks. Swinging a foul back. Number seven, the batter. Jasmine Pearson, what'd she do last time, Randall? She flied out to left field. Jasmine, the center fielder, right-handed batter. Tall right-handed batter, and the pitch swing and right to the shortstop. Shortstop steps over on second. And for the force out, great job of the shortstop. So Jasmine is on a filter's choice, and Emma Blackburn will be the batter. What did Emma do last time? I know she got out. Go away, girls. I didn't have down how she got out. We got any folks watching our live broadcast here today? We're going to go see if we got anybody watching. There's Samantha Bell sharing a broadcast. And Brandon Borden saying go Wildcats. Uh, Ty McDonald says go Lady Tigers. Scott Webster with us out there. Can you believe that? Jeremy Edgeman watching. All you folks share it for me. Some of you have done that. Hopefully you enjoy us coming to your location, doing games. We've been doing it uh, since we bought the station in 2001, 2001. Hopefully we'll still be welcome at all the schools here in Franklin County. They wouldn't let us do the Franklin County basketball tournament live for the first time since I've been doing the games. And that was over at Phil Campbell. So hopefully you'll make us welcome wherever we, whenever we come to your sporting arena. And the Fisher pitch on the way. It is the ball. Just missing outside. 29 Blackburn the batter. And 
and the pitch on the way. Ball high. Three balls and two strikes. Got some speed down at first base with two outs. And here's the pitch swing. And that ball is going to drop in there for a hit. Pearson will make the turn. He's going to send her home. It's going to take a perfect throw, and that perfect throw will not happen. And Jasmine Pearson showing her speed and scores for the Red Bay Tigers. That'll make it a 2-1 ball game. Great job there by Blackburn. Hit that one off the handle. Had a lot of spin on it. When it hit the ground, that ball kind of uh, headed toward foul territory, and the left fielder had a long way to go. And she, of course, Pearson, uh, coach had her running. Good job by Coach Blackburn over there to keep her running there. So we'll have a courtesy runner down at second. You know who that is, Randall? Stacy running. We don't know who the courtesy runner for sure is down at second base. Tigers trying to tie it up right here with two outs. Swing and a All pop right. to right field. That ball, right fielder coming in is not going to be able to get it. Tigers going to score this run. And who's that courtesy runner right there, Randall? Number four is Ariana Neighbors. Scoring, and the Tigers are down at second base with Kyla Blackburn. Wow. Good job, Kyle. And Journey Swan will bat with a tie score. Randall, I told the players, I said, we're here for the duration. If y'all keep us here till midnight tonight to win this thing, we'll do it. And I know the Tharp Town folks, they're willing to stay all night as well. But one of these teams right here, Franklin County Tournament, is going to be over because, keep in mind, we've got a 90-minute time limit. We'll check with them and see how much time we got in a minute. we got connections. He's right here. By us. As a matter of fact, we could steal his clock. It's close enough for me to get a hold of Jeremy Edgeman. Appreciate five outs far, five H farms. That's Donovan and the Hand family. There's a pop up, and the pitcher makes the catch to end the inning. Red Bay strands are on it, but guess what? We scored two runs and tied this game up. We are going to the top of the third inning. Red Bay two and Tharp Town two. This is live coverage here. Brought to you by the Banner Tire Store. Once again, Gary and Cody Armstrong, Dr. Brad Gentleman at the show's primary care on our broadcast here today. Big shout out to Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. Uh, Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff with us here today. Neighbors Family Clinic, Dr. Jim Neighbors, Dr. Stephen Neighbors, Nurse Practitioner Devin Fancher. 219 Hospital Road, 356-95. 37. Also, Red Bay Pharmacy Bill, Donald Weatherford, 356 4044. Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. Three generations strong at 356 8913. Red Bay Rental, 784 7th Avenue Southwest. That number, 256 668 0039. And that is Johnny Weatherford. He's got some units available right now. But you better hurry. He, uh, of course, stores. Your memory, Shannon Oliver, I told you about Shannon. What about Sunshine Homes, builders of quality homes since 1971? The City of Red Bay Mayor Council, by your hometown Piggly Wiggly and Ace Hardware. Barry Moore, your probate judge. Redmont Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks. Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks. By Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale. By Community Spirit Bank, Fastway Car Wash. And don't forget, a hit today is brought to you by Community Spirit Bank. Don't forget, student checking and savings accounts are available. You can open one for just $1. And once again, that is Community Spirit Bank. And they also got a bank inside the uh, school at uh, Belgrade, also in Red Bank. That's almost unheard of, isn't it? And yeah, they're proud of that Community Spirit Bank Tiger Branch. Thank you, Red Bay Hospital, Miss Sherry Jolly, Sue Helms, Mike Robinson, 
course, the world famous Chris Austin of the Well Care, and of course, all the wonderful staff members that make up the Red Bay Hospital. Number 12, leading it off here, is looks like Allie Gann. I believe Lexi Little will be on deck. Hannah Butler is ready. The pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back. A little change on that one. Appreciate our Edward Jones agent. I'll get around to it someday. That's not uh, your savings retirement strategy, I hope. And, uh, of course, your Edward Jones agent can give you the right advice. Mike's been serving Franklin Tishmig on that one. We counted out for 21 years. 128 North Jackson in Russellville, Alabama. 332724. And a big shout out to Meg Deaton and all the staff at Generations. Over 40 years serving the folks in Red Bay. And there's a pitch, swing, foul ball. An error on the Vina coach and an error on the Red Bay coach. We're in the uh, third inning. And the Red Bay Tigers are all tied up with these Tharptown Wildcats. We're in the top of the third inning. Look, I had the bottom there on the little arrow, but I couldn't see it. Randall, beautiful day. I think I may go get my jacket if we have to play another game. You got a jacket, we? Oh, it is a bottom of third? I had it bottom of the third. And the swing and a foul ball. Appreciate Tiffin Motorhomes along with Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Triple D's over in Iuka, the hardware and lumber company. Boy, they're adding merchandise daily. They got those Western Flyer. They're, uh, you know where the Lambert Lumber Company was? Right there. Swing and a foul back. You know those Western Flyer wagons you probably might have had when you was little? Guess what? They're carrying them. I may get me one of them. Tri-State Insurance, Kevin Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Christy Mayo, and Brenda Purser. Huh? Oh, I know it. Guess who I'm going to get to see in about three days? Billy Kay. And the pitch on the way. Change high. Hannah Butler on the mound, pitching to number 12, Allie Gann, Lexi Little. Yeah, we're talking about here this weekend. So ball four here and a base runner. Random blood sugar is coming down. Hello. I got me one of those Dexcom 7s that uh, tells you what your uh, blood sugar is. Mine's down to 177. It was up to about 250 earlier. I don't think it had anything to do with what I ate. All I had was two chicken on the sticks and a barbecue nachos. I ate two chicken on the sticks at the table, Randall. I'm talking about. You didn't even take one home, you? No, I, well, I got one to eat then and one to take it home. Pop up. And unable to make the catch. He is Blackburn. You know who was down there? Charlie. Just Charlie. Charlie ate a hot one, and guess what? He got one to go. I had one to go, but I went in to eat mine. And the Butler pitch for the Red Bay Tigers. We're all tied up. Little ground ball. Throw down to second for one over to first. 
And a double play by the Red Bay Tigers. What a play by the infield. Journey Swan down to second, over to first. Great play by Young over at first base to stretch out high. And they call out a double play. That, Edgman, who did I say Swan again? Why am I calling her Swan? I don't know why. Jeremy Edgman, don't be mad at me. That was, of course, the world famous Edgman down there. Gracie, what a play. Boy, she's turned that body, flipped it over to second base. Long throw from third now. And a double play by the Tigers. Awesome job. Pop up. Second baseman comes in, makes the catch for the out. And guess what? The Tigers are going to go to the top of the fourth inning. Top of the I don't know where it's right or not. I'm going I'm to leave it alone just for a minute. So it is going to the fourth. We would be in the bottom. We'd be in the bottom if it's uh, four. How much time we got? 25 minutes. I got to ask you one more question. Do you know what in You know what? If it's at top or fourth? I don't need. I don't think it's right. Huh? Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We'll find out uh, whether it's bottom or top. I had it right, then I second guessed myself. Now I've got it off and don't know for sure. But we'll try to find out. Once again, uh, today's game brought to you by Tri State Insurance, Bay Health and Wellness. Thank you, Kayla. Hey, see if you can, see if you can find out what inning we're in. See if it's huh? Somebody might know. You see anybody a bookkeeper anywhere? Thank you, uh, Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr. Silver Dollar Bargains down in the Golden and also Tupelo. Greg Hamilton, thank you. Casey Johnston, our school board member for District 5, wishing the Tigers good luck here today. Thunderflow Commercial and Residential Pressure Washing, 662-262-3569. And once again, the Red Bay Gas and Water Department on the broadcast, 356-8622. Don't forget to call 811 before you dig. Once again, a special thanks to all the folks here in Bell Green, Alabama. Always been so nice to us when we come in your neck of the woods to broadcast. And it's always an honor to do the games. And thank you all for being nice to us. We've only been coming over here since about 2001. What? What inning? Top of the fourth inning. So it is the top of the fourth. Red Bay is the guest. I think I had it right a while ago, but... So, Red Bay will be batting. The wind has really picked up. It's a little, I mean, it's beautiful sunshine today, probably 70 or so. But that wind blowing, you know, the March wind comes in and it goes out blowing hard. You ever, did your granny ever tell you about anything about the March winds? And here's the pitch all the way. Fisher shot to the right side. That ball is over the right fielder's head. It's going to the fence. A lot of speed here. Down to second base. She'll be on her way to third. And they'll probably hold her up right there. They're going to send her on. And the ball is in, so she'll have to go back. I actually thought the ball got lost out there, maybe in the fence or something. And uh, But she's down at third base with a, you ready for this, Randall? That is a triple for the Red Bay Tigers. Who got that? Lexi Howard. Lexi has got a triple and a single today. And the Red Bay Tigers can take the lead right here. Michaela Jackson. She ain't got Amy Jackson. Huh? Randall. And the pitch on the way. You remember how we used to say her name? Amy Jackson. Michaela Jackson batting here. She reached base on a fielder's choice, her last at bat. Red Bay about to take the lead, maybe right here. Swing, slow roller. 
And should score with no problem. The throw to first out. So Lexi comes in to score, and we'll put up a score there for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay leads 3-2 to two over Tharptown. And here is that uh, young lady that was the beginning of that uh, double play a while ago, the world-famous Gracie Edgman. Gracie, I've called you the wrong name twice today. I apologize. And there's a shot, and that one is through there for a base hit. Gracie Edgman. And Gracie's down at first base. And now we're back to the top of the batting order. McKenna Young, she's got a walk and a single of the game today. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. Tigers have goofed up a couple of innings and got runners thrown out stealing and might have to be a little bit more patient here. And we try a bunt. Foul ball. We're live in Bell Green, Alabama. Thanks for being with us here on the broadcast. Randall, I, earlier we had a lot of folks watching. I don't know how many we got watching now, but we got a good game. Red Bay leading. Three to two. Thank you, Heather Mims out there with us. Thank you, Jeremy Edgman, Brandon James, way to go, Peggy. Ty McDonald, top of the fourth. She's smarter than we are, Randall. Ty, I'm not I'm not picking on Randall. That was uh Scott, there you go, Alyssa. good pitch there by Alyssa. Of course, we're right, like old Randall. We like to pick on him. He picks on us. You just don't hear it. Hopefully, it looks okay where you're at today, and hopefully you like uh, go, Jack Ivy broadcasting to be at all these games. And we got a swing and a miss strikeout for McKenna Young. She's got a couple of strikeouts today. I believe Hannah Butler might, might get a base hit here. She's been on base twice, a single and a walk. Walk her first time, single her next time. Edgewin down at first, swinging a foul back to the screen. Appreciate the Tharp Town and Red Bay coaches helping us out with our robsters here today. Thank you, Rot Stone and Bryson Joseph out there. Brandon Borden says, number 14, Tharp Town is my daughter, the catcher. I'm going to tell you what, she does a good job back there. And the pitch on the way, swinging a foul back. Brandon, I appreciate you, and uh, hopefully you'll share this broadcast, you and the rest of the folks out there. Colton Harrison out there with us, Judy Aldridge, Gail Scott with us, Bryson Joseph. That is uh, world famous. Y'all say a little prayer for old Mark Aldridge. Mark had to have some surgery done. He's at home and hopefully doing uh, well as you can be from having surgery. There's Janet Glenn Ivey out there, my cousin. Our cousins, I should say, grab all of the shortstop, shortstop, throw to first yeah. in time, and that'll end the inning. The Tigers still lead three to two. We will go to the bottom of the fourth. See that number four there, and you see the arrow pointing down? That is where we're at right now on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. We do have inside connections on how much time we got, and at this 17... 17 minutes left on the time limit. Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thanks to you, our sponsor, for making the game possible here today.
Live coverage here from WRMG. Brought to you by Beach Tree Gift Company next to WRMG. Beverly Winchester Green, Happy Hollow Outdoors on a broadcast. BNC Dirt Work, David Corm. Chris Blackburn, driveways, covered installs, gravel parking lots, clear land, build pads for houses or buildings. They also do underground installation of utilities, water, and power. And there's a shot out in the left field. It's over the left fielder's head. It's going to the fence. She's down to second. She'll make the turn and stop at second base. And a good job by the Tharptown Wildcats to start this inning. And, folks, that was Miss Borden, the catcher, who popped out her first at bat. She's got a double. And Harley Borden, just saw your dad commenting on her broadcast a minute ago. And I know we, that family is very, very proud of you. And uh, extra proud of you right now, getting that big double right here. Your team down by one run and an opportunity right here for Karen Nichols. And... They're going to steal a base, throw down there, and she is safe. So Harley getting a stolen base. So, Hannah Butler's went the entire way, does a great job. April Lauer, Mormack Realty on a broadcast. Dossett, Big Four. Dossett in Tupelo, 8 4 2 41 62. A bunt, and it's a foul. April Lauer, whether you're buying or selling, she's looking for homes to sell right now. She's got a lot of buyers. Says, find me a home to buy. And so if you want to sell a home right now, it's a great time. They're not staying on the market very long. And Dossett, Big Four, National Hunters and Sales and Service. Rudy Dossett's got a wonderful sales force. Don't, don't pressure you. A happy shopper is always our goal once again at Dossett. They don't bump up the winter sticker like some of the folks supposedly does. And the, you'll always get more from Dossett Big Four. 628 South Glosser in Tupelo. They got a big sale going on for uh, Randall. It's, uh, I guess, the Ole Miss versus State. Salesman against the others, and uh, the winner eats steaks, and the loser eats beans. And I asked, I asked Mr. Rudy Dossett, now, wait a minute. Do they really eat beans? He said, while, while we're eating steaks, they're eating pork and beans out of a can. Just open it up. They're eating at the same time while the others, that's all they get. So it is true at Dossett Big Four. Three to two, Red Bay on top, but Tharp Town threatening here. Trying to get this one, and like we're not able to get to that one. She dives out. No way to get to that one. Of course, Emma's going to give it 1,000% every time. Appreciate cash and thermal plastics on a broadcast. Franklin Electric. Big shout out to Happy Jacks, Tyron Lube, third generation family on operated business. And, of course, take care of all your tire and mechanical work. Glenn does a wonderful job. Donnie Craig, your owner, does a wonderful job. Great, great, great staff. And they're ready for your business. 256-284. Another yeah. bunt. This one is nicely done. The run's going to score. And guess what? She'll be safe down at first base. 256-284-0414. And you'd have to do this tomorrow. But uh, they've partnered up with Valvoline to extend the savings. So uh, right now you can get um, oil change, five quarts, synthetic Valvoline oil and filter, $34.99. If you get a set of tires from Nexium, free tire rotations for life. We're tied up, folks. It's three to three. And something uh, going here. Let's see what we got. Randall, stay with them a little bit. Tilt her down a little bit and try to stay out of that skyline a little bit if you can. It makes the camera a little darker. Now the umps going to talk. So they had a runner at third, laid down the bunt. She scored. Red Bay did not throw it down at first. So she was safe at first base. She's down there. 
And what they're discussing now, I have no idea. Now, folks, we are probably in the 12-minute uh, range as far as the time limit. We're all tied up. Red Bay Tigers and the Tharptown Wildcats. The winner will play Bell Green for the Franklin County Championship. And if my memory is correct, of course, Bell Green has not lost. So, you know what that means? That means uh, somebody would have to beat them twice. We're tied 3-3. Let's see what's going to happen here at home plate, Randall. We might zoom in pretty close and see if we can read their lips here. So somebody may be out. I don't know. Was the interference on the throw down to first? So they may end up, I don't know whether the runner interfered with Red Bay's first baseman who come in to cover it. She didn't throw it to first. I don't know the reason why, because she had Blackburn down there covering, but uh, they may have interfered with her a little bit there. Red Bay has put their two cents worth in. Now Tharptown is putting their two cents worth in. Now let's see what the call is going to be. Now they're coming back to talk to Coach Blackburn. The question is, what is going to be the official call? Well, they, if there was interference, I don't know whether they'd make her go back to third or what. I would think she would score and they would just be an out at first base, but I don't know. They're sorting it out. They're going to try to make the correct call. It's not going to make everybody happy, I can assure you that. I'm Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live in Bell Green, Franklin County Tournament. Thank you, Bell Green, for hosting this tournament and always inviting us into your homes here in Bell Green. We'll see if we can find out. They're going to call the runner out at first, and they're going to make the runner go back to third. So they will take that run off the board, from what I'm saying. So that will make it back a three to two ball game. So the Red Bay Tigers might get out of this without uh, giving up a run. There is uh, two outs. The runner here is, uh, the battery is number 26. Uh, this is Franks. We might uh, see if we can get an official ruling on it here. So there's going to be two outs. I'm assuming it was interference and they called her out and they're going to make the runner go back. And Jack Ivey live with a Randall Lindsay. Tigers need to play some good defense right here and get out of this inning here in the fourth. And the pitch on the way. It is a ball. Runner down third, throws down there. They got her in a rundown, and the Tigers are going to tag her, and she's out at the plate. And the Tigers get out of the inning. What a job by Gracie Edgman and Blackburn getting her in a rundown and getting her out at the plate. So, folks, Well, illegal substitution was the call. An illegal substitution was the call. So we're going to go to the fifth inning. So we got it correct now. So, it, so we're going to the top of the fifth. 
Hey, hey, he called a, it was an illegal, illegal substitution, he said. Illegal substitution. So an illegal substitution was called against Tharptown was the call. That's the reason they called the runner out at first, made that runner go back to third, and then the Tigers ended up getting her in a run down there to end the inning. Folks, we're going to the top of the fifth inning. Probably one more inning. And that time limit is clicking on down. The Tigers of Red Bay trying to get in the finals. They'll have Jasmine Pearson to lead it off. Once again, today's game brought to you by Generations of Red Bay, by Big Star, Sunshine Mills, CBNS Bank, Franklin Electric, by Cash and Thermoplastics, Happy Jack's Tire, Lube, and also your third generation family owned automotive service business. That's at 823 Kennedy Street, formerly bumper to bumper. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 12. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Donnie Craig, your owner. And we really appreciate it. The great job you do. Community Spirit Bank bringing the hits for us here today. And a big shout out. And there may be another one of those Community Spirit Bank hits is. That ball's going to the ball. Pearson on her way to second. She's on her way to the third, and she'll at least be in at third base with nobody out for the Red Bay Tigers. And I'm going to tell you what, the Tiger dugout and the Tigers side is kind of excited right now, to say the least. They're smelling a win over these Tharptown Wildcats trying to get in the championship. Hey, I was talking about you a while ago. How's BNC Dirt Work doing? Are we doing good? Y'all smoking? Is David doing all the work? Yeah. Oh, you didn't get it? Hang on. I'll get it. I'll check on it. Okay. Blackburn now the batter with a runner at third. Nobody out. BNC Dirtworth, Cluris Blackburn, and of course David Corn. Thank you, you and Variety. Floral and Gifts, full service, live and silk. Johnny's four wheelers. Johnny and Amanda. What about Dr. Fabianchi, Alpha Insurance, Pro Concerts, Brandon Nunley Construction by Triple H Electronics. Pro Finish is also on a broadcast here today. Swing and a foul back by Bliss Aesthetics. Casey Lott, your attorney. H.W. Watson Logging. Thompson Gas Company, the Cardinal Drive In on a broadcast. Also on our broadcast today is Swamp John's, Banner Tire Store, 5-H Farms, Ellis Hooten at Brick Driven Realty. Thank you, Gary and Cody Armstrong. Dr. Brad Genevin on our broadcast. Randolph, flying the... And a base hit. And a run is scored for the Red Bay Tigers. Randolph. Red Bay's going to have a courtesy runner. All right, girls, got to it up. So the Red Bay Tigers now lead four to two. Great job there by Blackburn. There'll be a courtesy runner for her. This will be number one batting for the Red Bay Tigers. This is Blackburn. Not Blackburn. Uh, yeah, it is. Kyla Blackburn. Journey Swan is on deck. So Blackburn's got a double and a single her last couple of bats. Kyla got a double two-bagger her last at bat as well. Red Bay leads by a score of four to two. We're in the fifth inning. Red Bay's got a chance to win this ball game right here. The time limit. Clicking on down. It's got to be uh, 10 minutes maybe or under. Blackburn's ready to go. Got a runner down at first base and the ball is high. You see a number down there at first? Is that neighbors again? That's Ariana neighbors, number four. Fisher is ready to go. The pitch on the way. Swing and a pop to the right side. Right fielder coming in. Not going to be able to get to that one. And the runners at first and second. 
I'm not for sure exactly what happened to our runner going first to second. It looked like she come toward the infield. I don't know what, what happened. She ended up getting back on track and getting on second base. Oh, the ump got in her way. Okay. So now Journey Swan will bat with runners at first and second and nobody out. Red Bay's got a 4-2 lead. Keep in mind, there's nobody out. Red Bay's got to win this one to get in the championship ground. They would have to beat Bell Green twice, I understand, since Bell Green is undefeated. They knocked off the Tigers earlier today, swing at a shot. What was the score this morning on the Bell Green Red Bay game, Randall? Nine to three, Nine to three you think? And the Red Bay Tigers leading right here over Tharptown, 4-2. to two. We're in the loser's bracket. The loser is over. The winner goes to the championship game with Belgrade. And that'll be as soon as they can get the field ready. Ball is high. Thank you, Dr. Fabianchi. Thank you, Alpha Insurance on a broadcast here today. Thank you to our base hit. Now, home run, doubles, whatever it is, it's Community Spirit Bank. And swinging a foul back. Don't forget to remind everyone about the hometown skilled nursing facility we have right there in Red Bay called Generations. This fine facility has been serving the folks and their families now for over 40 years. Generations isn't just long-term care. It's a place where you can get well and go home. What comforting words that is. One ball, two strikes. Fisher looks in. has got to signal Journey Swan. Looked at that one low, and the Tigers are going to get a double steal as that ball actually got away, so they'll just advance. Two balls and two strikes is the real count right now. Thank you, Pro Concerts. We got a timeout by Tharptown. Thank you, Thompson Gas Company, home of that Rely propane meter that uh, makes you have no more tank rent, no more fees, no more large propane bills. You only pay for what you use. For more information, call them at 356-2194, Dustin Chase Oliver. Big shout out to Bliss Aesthetics, Beverly Winchester Green, 256-460-9547. Individualized, uh, specializing in sugar hair removal, individualized skin care, facials, and much more. Casey Lott, your attorney, along with H.W. Watson Logging Company. Thank you, Kevin and Harold. Also, Swamp John's, the Banner Tire Store, 5-H Farms, Ellis Wooten at Brick Driven Realty, and Gary and Cody Armstrong on our broadcast. And the pitch on the way. Low in the dirt. Anybody, and that anybody. is wall. So now the bases are loaded for the Tigers. Lexi Howard setting herself up for another Grand Slam. She hit one, was it last night, against the Viner Red Devils? Something she'll never forget. And, well, if she hit one right here at Grand Slam, it'd be crazy. Grandma, you better get a good shot of it. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back. And here's the pitch. Swing, ground ball, slow roller. Second baseman's got it. Over to first. A run will score. As Neighbors comes in to score, and that makes the Red Bay Tigers up 5-2, making it very tough on Tharptown. Batting now for the Tigers will be number 11, and that is Michaela Jackson. And the pitch on the way. Ball low. Wow. 
1-0 pitch with one out. Runners at second and third. Swing ground ball. Should score another run. Shortstop's got it. And the throw to first run. Ball gets away. Everybody's going to be safe, and we'll have runners at second and third. I think she's going to try to tag the runner out going to uh, third at first. That didn't happen. And then the uh, throw got away on the throw to first, and now runners at second and third. And the Red Bay Tigers now lead by a score of 6-2. to two. Well, they got 5-2. to two. Did they give us a run? Ball to the first baseman. First baseman's got it. And the tag out. Aren't we supposed to be seven, Randall? Seven to two, the score. They got six on the scoreboard. It's supposed to be seven. And the Red Bay Tigers. Hits are being brought to you today by Community Spirit Bank. So good job of Michaela Jackson. Gracie Edgman. And McKenna Young. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back. So good job of Gracie. Great job there by Michaela, Lexi, and Journey, and Kyle, and everybody that's batted in this inning. Emma. Red Bay leads. Says 6-2 on the board. I think it's supposed to be 7. And there's a swing and a miss by Young. We do have a runner at third base. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What? And the pitch on the way. Depends on the time limit. And she is out. And that is Red Bay. Third out of the inning. Don't know for sure how much time. He'll come over and we'll ask him in a minute. If you're out there joining us on the broadcast, time running out. So Tharptown will bat here in the bottom of the fifth inning. So Tharp Town will bat here. 11 to 6. Red Bay lost to Bell Green earlier. And if Red Bay can hold on right here, they will play in the Franklin County Championship Finals. Once again, Red Bay would have one loss. Bell Green would not have a loss. Leading it off is going to be number 26, and that is Natalie Franks. Do you see the Bell Green coach anywhere, Randall? You see him, see if, hey, go tell him right quick. Uh, we're going to need a lineup if he'll first last name. So, Tharp Town batting here. Jack Ivy live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And there is a shot out, second baseman, under, center field under it. Nobody's got it. And the runner will end up down at second base. So the Tigers miss an opportunity there. And they got a base runner. He's, he's fixing right up the positions. Awesome. Is he going to get us one? So a base runner on as Tharp Town will bat. And Red Bay's got an injured player out there. They still got six on the board, so we do have a, an official timeout. Tilt her down, Randall. Somehow up that big sky in the background. Tilt her down. Tilt her down some more, Randall. Randall, can you hear me? Tilt her down, yeah. 
I didn't think you had your headset on. See it lighting it up when you tilted it down some? So hopefully she's going to be all right, Kay, out there. They may have had a collision. About three of them. I think Jasmine was involved in it. She's not acting like she's really ready to go yet or not. Still bent over out there. She will pick up her glove. Folks, we're in the bottom of the fifth. Last opportunity for Tharptown here. Red Bay up. I have it 7-2. to two. They got 6-2 on the board. Nobody has told them to correct it, but I'm, I know we scored two runs. Foul ball. Randall, tilt it down again. There you go. So the runner down at second for Tharptown, nobody out. Bottom of the fifth, Anna Butler's gone the entire way. Beautiful pitch there. Number 32 batting here. And this is top of the batting order, Alyssa Fisher, the pitcher. One ball and two strikes. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Fisher is down on strikes. So that'll be the first out of the inning. And this will bring up Ashton Tharp. There'll be a little, uh, we'll end this broadcast, then we'll start a new one for the finals between Red Bay and Bell Green, unless Tharp Town rallies big time right here before the time limit runs out. Swing and a shot to right side. Good catch by Young over at first base. And the Red Bay Tigers are one out away from moving into the finals against those Bell Green Bulldogs. Red Bay is going to substitute. Jasmine's going to come out. We're going to move a new player to left field and move Jackson over to center. What number was it? Hopefully Jasmine's going to be okay. So number 12 will bat here. This is Allie Gann. Thank you all for watching the game. Appreciate all you folks at Tharp Town, Red Bay that's been watching us here today on Red Bay Tiger Baseball, or softball, I should say. And there's a pop-up, and the Red Bay Tigers are victorious over Tharp Town. Final score, 7-2. to Honored to have you on the broadcast. Don't forget, we'll get back. Honored to have you out there on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Thank you, Nikki Stacy, with us out there today. And once again, the Red Bay Tigers have won it 7 2, the final score over Tharptown. Red Bay's heading to the finals against Belgrade. 
That's going to wrap this broadcast up. We'll be back live again in a little bit for the championship round on this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Red Bay wins it 7-2 over Tharptown. Y'all have a great day.